Okay, um, welcome to this channel and welcome to this video. Um, I've got this is this is basically a comparison test between two ghost boxes. I was actually given some help in converting this particular radio here, which is a Roberts R eight seven six radio into a ghost box or spirit box by a chap called Wes on. Um, a paranormal forum, so thank you to him um, for <laughs> guidance and help. So I don't have a whole range of other ghost boxes or spirit boxes to test because I don't I don't generally <coughs> use ghost boxes and spirit boxes all the time, but I'm using them more. And my um, kind of staple spirit box, if you like, and like a lot of other people, we, we tend to sort of use the um, PSB7, which I have actually found really, you know, works really, really well. So, you know, I don't, I don't ever have any problems with this. This just works and it produces results and I get great communication from it. And I thought what I would do is a very quick test between um, using the portal here um, for both devices to see whether I can get responses from um, both the PSB7 and also the Roberts R876. Um, a couple of people have asked me for um, a sort of a, a test, if you like, with this particular radio. I get the impression that this radio hasn't hasn't ever been used or known to be used as a spirit box or ghost box before. And um, yeah, I'll, I'll be just interested to see how it works out. So um, for anyone that's asking, there is just a battery that's powering the portal 12 volt for 4.5 amp per hour battery powering this portal. So and I'm using um, a Zoom H4n to record straight out of here. And I'm obviously I'm on the video camera. I'm also using a Rode video mic shotgun so you know i can compare the audio from both devices. but anyway this is running um i've got this running at 300 milliseconds um on the psb7 on the fm channel so we'll do this for maybe 10 minutes each one just see how it compares so i'll probably be repeating my questions a bit so um okay let's do this I welcome any positive and loving spirits or entities to come forward and help me test out this equipment here if, if you can. It's much appreciated. If you can come forward and say something on here, I know that there are some of you here already. Is there anyone here with me right now? I did hear something then. It's very faint. Okay. Hello. Hi. Yeah, I'm getting responses. Whereabouts are you? Are you in this room right now with me? Yes, okay. Sounded like a yes to me. Can you help me test this equipment out? I'm trying to find better ways of communicating with you.
Does anyone have anything to say? Okay. Can any of you give me your names? I can hear some very faint responses in the background. I won't know what they're saying until I play this back. Can you possibly get some energy from this crystal and coil so that you can actually speak louder, come through clearer? Okay, I'll run this for maybe one more minute and then we'll switch over to the Roberts radio. Can someone help me? Can someone help me to test out this equipment? I know you can use this one, but can you help me to see whether you can communicate? Okay. I'm using the settings on the reverb unit as per our Facebook page that I, I recommend using for the PSB7. Now for every device that I've plugged into this, including apps on a tablet, they do, to get the best responses and the best audio, they do seem to require different settings on the reverb unit. So this is actually on the PSB7 settings, if you like, that I tend to use. And while I'm doing the session, I'm very, very slightly tweaking the um, filter and also the volume to get a balance of getting rid of the noise and allowing enough audio to come through to record so it is a fine balance it's a, vi it's a fine tuning and some people are not happy about doing all of that so hello I recognize your voice can you help me test out this this ghost box okay I take that as a yes <laughs> So we'll switch over now to this box and when you go from one device to another you definitely need to either switch the portal off or certainly turn the volume right down because it doesn't like um, having things changed. Okay, so we're now going to switch over to the Roberts R876 and this just goes into the headphone out. We power it up. Now I know a couple of people have wanted to actually ask the scanning rate of this radio. I don't know what that is, but I know it's, to me, it seems to be less than one second going through each, you know, going from 86 to 88 and 89 and 90 and going up through that way. So um, basically you have to with this, after it's been modified, hang on, let me just get this in here. Okay, so I'm going to, hopefully you can see this. I'm now going to start scanning and you have to keep your finger on the button. So that's how fast it's scanning from, you know, through the, uh, 
um, FM channel. Hopefully you can see that and get some idea about how fast it's scanning. I would say it's just very slightly longer than one second. Okay, and unfortunately with this radio, once you take your finger off, the 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 auto tuning on this radio just stops at the strongest channel that it comes across. Um, so I might actually put a switch on this so that I can keep you know go backwards or forwards on the scanning. So anyway, let's try this out. Okay, so the radio is on. Um, I now just adjust the volume. To an acceptable level of noise and I judge that by the by the level meter on my um, in my audio recorder here okay so I'm now going to keep my finger on this and let's see what we get through so I'm going forward at the moment hello is there anyone here with me now still Can, can you talk to me on this box here? Can you tell me your names? Hello? How many spirits are here with me right now? Can anyone tell me? Now I am actually hearing responses and I can hear they're, they are very faint and I also noticed with this particular radio is that there's a lot of noise, a lot of background noise and if I turn the filtering on too high to get rid of the noise you just can't hear anything coming through I'm going to turn the volume up on the radio Let's go reverse. Has anyone got any messages for me that can just test out this radio? Yeah. Yeah? What? Can, can you give me your name? Finding it difficult to use this radio. Let's go forward again. Okay, I'm going to close this session in one minute now. If somebody could come through and say something really clear, that would be that would be great.
there's a lot of noise. Okay, I'm now going to close this session. If anyone's got anything else they want to say, can they say so now? Okay. Thank you for coming. I'm now going to close this session. So yeah, I think um, I guess I guess this one works. You know, I might need to tweak around with it a little bit more. It does produce an awful lot of noise as compared to the PSB7, which um, <clears throat> I'm not a great fan of the the amount of static. The whole point of building this portal was to get rid of all that noise so that all you can you know you can get through on the PSV7 is is the clarity of the communication um, but yeah you know I, I will continue to keep tweaking I did actually play with the re, excuse me reverb unit um, with this radio yesterday and it didn't make a huge amount of difference there's still a lot of static noise coming through which um, is, a, is a bit irritating. But anyway, I, hopefully that's been useful for people to see, you know, the, maybe this radio is or isn't suitable or not. I will keep continue to keep testing with it to see if I can get better results. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, and I shall see you again in another video soon. Thank you.